Ladies and gentlemen, from its 55 Jamboree, proudly presents star of TV show Hee Haw, a member of the Stoneman family, and the first lady of the banjo. Give a big hand to Ronnie Stoneman. Are you having a good time so far?
much we deserved every bit of that. Thank you. Got my hook tune yet? Okay. Well, is this man a little louder? Don't you think it needs to be a wee bit louder, the mandolin? Yes, thank you. Let's turn the fan in a wee bit. I'm trying to find my husband, Tom. He's from the East of England, and I was trying to see if we were loud enough out there because we got no electric there he is. And the man in it does not have electric head. So we have to get a little bit. Get the band come down a wee bit, and then now I can be heard a wee bit when she gets loud. I was going, somebody came to me in Nashville and they said, Ronnie, why don't you update your music? You got to come update your stuff. And she said, You're just old time. And I said, okay, I'll do Grandpa Jones' songs and rap. <laughs> they call it, ooh, the old mountain dude. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little, just like Tina Turner, jump all over the place.
would I come up? Uh, I gave her my number or a card, and she said, would you come out and play in the opera? And I said, well, I sure would. And I said, but when I get back from England and Ireland, and so I just came back about a week, and uh, here I am, and I'm really proud that I did because I met some of the finest people ever met, as well as this is a beautiful place, gang, and this is your life, you all to come to, and enjoy yourself. y'all realize that because there's a lot of places around that you go to hear music and you don't hear great pictures like we have up here on this stage. We didn't rehearse for hardly nothing today and they're following so good and they're picking so good. I know my music's a little bit outdated but that's the way it is, Slick. <laughs> longer to fall because I went the scenic route. My husband likes to look at the scenery and I just want to hit the highway, you know. There's Foggy Mountain Breakdown and do it down again if you can.
machismo. A word for pig. We used to get a guy who comes in to some of the honky tonks. Wait a minute, I've got some. And my grandmother never made me No. This here is the band's pitch pot. The band's pitch pot. If you don't pitch in the pot tonight, gang, they will not have a pot to pitch in. So, remember the boys. They, they got diapers to buy, baby food to buy, and gas to run to the doctor with. So don't forget that, darlings. This is their pitch pot. They need a bucket down there where I can say pitch pot on it, like Jimmy Dean and the Stone family did back in the good old days of D.C. But you know, I'm just letting y'all know, so any song you want to hear, the band knows it, y'all come up and don't write it down on a hundred dollar bill if they don't know what they're writing. Right here, And don't play it, you get your fifty dollars back. When a band like this plays for dances and working hard for you people and friends all over this county and all over this town and state, when they have two bluegrass pickers to come up and say, I want to be, it's awful hard for them to come down to music and have to play like our music. Yeah, like, duh. But anyway, I want to say I appreciate it. And they understand and I love it. They're very nice. Here's a song that I played many, many nights, yes. And David is absolutely a great, great guitar player. And all the boys here, well, this one knows me child support, too. Thanks for the ugly kid. I tell you, hold the phone, Dad, wait a minute. I'm not finished talking. <laughs> I gotta tell you about this dude. We were playing in West Virginia. Remember, you were with the Charlie McCoy band. And they found out what room at the hotel that I was in. And he come clawing at my door. <laughs> and he clawed and pawed until I got up and let him out. You are. 